going on guys? Welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the video. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to install a Red Arc Toe Pro trailer brake controller on my brand new 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track. So stick around. It's going to be sort of a step by step, really brief explanation of how to install this, what this is, why you might want it uh, if you're looking to tow something. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, here's the tools that you're gonna need to do this install. You will need a T30 Torx bit. So I just have you know, a T30 Torx right here. Probably can't see that on the video, but, uh, and then I have it on a quarter inch adapter so I can put it in my drill or a little impact. You will need a drill, a Phillips screwdriver or drill, a five millimeter or 3 16 drill bit, you will need to make a one inch hole. So uh, I'm gonna use one of these hole soles or I don't really know what this is called, but uh, one of these where you can make a one inch hole, an interior trim pry bar tool, uh, or you can be very careful with the screwdriver. Just again, this is your interior, so don't mess it up. Uh, I got this at Harbor Freight, like six bucks for a whole set of them. And then this kit is plug and play, but for the Bronco specifically, you will need this harness, which is part number TPH-007. If you look this up, the Bronco is not listed on here, but this is the one that you will need. There's like four different harnesses, four different Ford vehicles, but for the Bronco specifically, TPH-007. And of course, the trailer brake controller. This is sort of universal. It's a really long part number here. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you because it's just look up Topro Elite and you can find this. Now you know. Okay, step one before we start this installation, we need to disconnect the battery. So just get you 10 millimeter, little ratchet, and then just disconnect the negative post. That's all you need to do. So there's no power going through the system when we plug stuff up. Okay, so step two in this installation, you're gonna put your T30 in your drill, and you're gonna remove either the grab handle or the trim piece, depending on your Bronco. Back that one out. Back that one out. Remove the handle, set that aside. Okay, step three, this lower plastic trim panel here, that has to come off. So this is where your interior trim pry bar comes into play. So we're just gonna come up here on the side. There we go, that was easy. Get the side. That sounds really bad, but it's not too bad at all. Okay. That comes out like that. All right, guys, step four. Once you make sure you have put the vehicle in neutral, um, obviously when I disconnect the battery in the very beginning, I did that beforehand. Uh, make sure your parking brake is set and you got the wheels chalked depending on where you're at so you don't roll. But uh, anyway, vehicle needs to be in neutral. You're gonna take your pry bar again and you're gonna start carefully prying this up. Just be careful not to damage your trim piece. This whole center section has to come out. It is so hot down here and I'm in my garage. Let's see. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Whew. It's hot. Okay, so um what I did is I unplugged the goat mode knob, the USB data port in the front of the cubby hole, and then the power charging mat. Twisted this panel around and just kind of slid it forward because we will need access to right here. But this is where our Topro knob is going to go, right there. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys, real quick, before we get into the install of this controller, I do want to tell you this video is sponsored by Red Arc. They did send me this to put on the Bronco. This is not the first one of these I've installed, just so you guys are aware. I do believe in these things. They do work great. I have this exact same controller on my 94 Bronco, and it was also plug and play on a 28 year old truck. So it kind of gives you an idea of how uh, many varieties that they make uh, harnesses and these 
you know, these things for. So if you don't know what Red Arc is, the link will be in my description. They are your go-to source for anything power management, basically. They've got a whole bunch of different stuff like power inverters, solar panels, power management systems, solar and battery chargers. Um, you know, these guys make a lot of really awesome electronics to control vehicles like, you know, big, big, big motorhome type things or full-time van life people. Uh, they just, you know, anything that has to do with managing power from the battery vehicle to different accessories and components, these are the go-to guys for that stuff. So, all right, now that we got that out of the way, let's, uh, let's install this thing. Okay, the next step is we need to remove the glove box or at least let it fold down all the way. So you're gonna open it up. The little catch over here on the other side, you're gonna pull up towards you and then out. Okay, and then freeze up that hole. So you're having an idea what the hole looks like. Once you do that, you're gonna squeeze the glove box that way, the little tabs here, and the glove box falls out of the way. Probably should take all that stuff out first, but. Now that we've got the inside almost ready to go, we're gonna open up our controller, pull it out really carefully. This is what is in the box. You got the main controller box here. You got your knob. And then this is the actual switch knob right there. That's just decorative. Come over here, you got a harness. And there should be a drilling template probably right here. Right there. So we're going to need this. So cut this out. And I'll show you what we're going to do that here in a second. Okay, so the next step is the knob for the controller is going to be located right here in the center stack next to the window switches. So here is the template. Gonna zoom in or not anyway uh, whenever you do this on the template there is a larger circle and then two small ones the larger circle will be facing the bottom so make sure you don't drill your template holes upside down so we're gonna go ahead and tape this on there right here nice and straight so what I'm gonna do rather than drill on the main four millimeter holes the top and the bottom I'm gonna use a really small pilot drill bit and drill those two out and then I'll pull the template off and then make the holes how they're supposed to be and find that center point there one two two pilot holes are drilled so I'm going to take off my template Okay, got my four millimeter bit. I'm gonna go to the top hole. Boom, there we go. That's that one. Bottom hole. We're gonna bring this bad boy and it's gotta be made to one inch. Don't go over, don't go under. Under is okay, over you messed up. So be very cautious when you use this one to make that second hole one inch. Just a little extra visual aid. I put a piece of tape on this designating where one inch is. So once I get close, I'll know to slow down or not go past that. Um, just a little easier to see once you start drilling. All right, here's our switch components. We've got a little plastic lock nut here, the switch, the bezel, and then the exterior decorative knob. So this can only fit in one way. So it's got kind of a round upper, slides in like so. And then the lock nut, oops, will go like this. And this is plastic, so it doesn't have to be too terribly tight. All right. So once we got that in, I'm going to basically turn it all the way up. So that way 10 is on the indicator up high. Like that. So zero all the way to left. 10 all the way up, all 
All right, there's our switch. Okay, so next step is we're gonna get the harness here. It's going to plug in like that. Now we're ready to go put this inside the dash or console. Okay, we've got the switch all put together. So we're gonna run this harness, harness through that hole and then make sure it's right side up. Beautiful. Right in the center. Boom. It's right here. It's gonna go passenger side of the shifter underneath this plastic thing right there behind this trim panel and it will come out right here is where that wire will be at. Okay, the next step is we got to go in the driver's side footwell area and up under here in the side next to the throttle pedal, here's your throttle pedal. This connector right here has to come off. Like that. This gets thrown away. We don't need this. However, you do need this little black clip. So you're gonna remove this little tab. And this is where our harness comes into play at. So here is the harness that comes with the kit. Um, so we will get that little black thing and it will in turn Slide there, that will plug in like so. Refasten that where it was from the factory. And then now we're gonna run this harness through the center here to the other side by the glove box. Okay, so it's gonna go around the front of all of this stuff and then route up the same exact way we just did the other little harness. See, it's pulled through the front there. It's kind of hard to see. This is not the best angling, but, and then it comes out right there. All of the rest of the interior can go back together. So I'm gonna do that real quick. That'll go back in exactly where you took it out. And then we'll work on this over here. Okay, so the trailer brake is mounted where it's supposed to be at, and I didn't film that because I really didn't have room to have a camera and me in this area. But once you get behind your glove box, there is a metal brace off of the main beam that goes from side to side that the dash mounts to. That is where you're gonna mount your box at. That thing has to be hard mounted on its surface. It cannot be zip tied, it cannot be, three, well it can be 3M double sided tape, but if you've got a good surface to mount it to. I suggest you use some self-tapping screws because since that system is inertia sensing, it's got to be mounted basically with the body. So that thing needs to be nice and tight. It's plugged in. It is ready to rock. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. That is how you would install a Red Arc Topro Elite trailer brake controller in a brand new 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track. Now you're ready to go hook up and go on some adventures. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to use the trailer brake controller. You can look at it yourself. This is just purely an install video. So let's start installing some other stuff now. We'll see you in the next video.